Okay, this is third time lucky filming this video. So if this doesn't go well, then kill me now. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel I hope you are all well and are staying inside so today I don't know if this is a bit of a weird video to upload at this time but today I'm going to be doing a Primark haul I went to Primark ages ago but um, I've never <laughs> haven't had the chance to film this video um, I filmed it twice already both times have not worked so third time lucky right if the sun is like kind of cutting in a bit sorry about that but we're working with what we have here okay anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the video okay so we're gonna start off with home stuff absolutely love primark home who doesn't so i had to pick up a couple of plants first one being this one as you can see i love a good plant i've tried to kind of change up my background a little bit <laughs> so if this plant looks a bit random then i'm working on it but i thought i'd pick up another one to add to my collection and it was only two pound fifty this plant and look how nice it is it's like really full and yeah so it will either go somewhere in my studio or in my bedroom probably but yeah love this for two pound fifty you can't really go wrong Next up, if you know me, you know I literally have fairy lights in every single room. <laughs> so I had to pick up some more. They were only £2.50. They're 50 LED, so it's like 5.1 metres, which is pretty long, for £2.50. So yeah, I will probably add this to my fairy light collection in here. I already have like three sets in here, but I'm sure I'll find another space for them. And then the last thing i got from the home section was this and when i saw this i mean you've probably seen this on many other people's videos but it's the fake plant that everyone has um <laughs> this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it already but we were looking for a new fake for a new plant to go um downstairs in our lounge and we always kill real ones so we thought we'd go down the fake route and this was only £10 for a fake plant this big that is good we were looking at the ones in Sainsbury's but you know what Primark came through so yeah Whoop. okay moving on to accessories um if you haven't seen this bag floating around the internet then I don't really know where you have been but but when I first saw this bag, I knew that I needed it. Um, <laughs> I have a little bit of a bag addiction. And um, did I need it? No. But I just couldn't leave this in Primark. So yeah, this is the only thing I kind of went in there knowing that I was going to get. It was only £5. Yes, it is absolutely tiny. It will just about fit phone, purse, what, what else you really need, you know? it fits the essentials but yeah um actually i was so set on getting this bag that i searched the whole of my primark and i could not find it anywhere they had the nude version but i was like hold on a minute you can't do this to me i need this bag so i went to go and get a basket and she on my way back amongst like all of these other black bags this one caught my eye i believe this was the only one in my primark so i'm very very thankful that i managed to get it next up i've got some scrunchies i always need scrunchies just to like tie my hair back when i'm washing my hair uh, what <laughs> when i'm washing my face um and yeah i just love these little velvet ones and my ones at the moment have got really stretched out because i use them like every day so yeah two pounds three pack of scrunchies can't really go wrong and then i don't really know if these count as accessories but these are my favorite lashes from primark they are only one pound yes i really don't spend a lot on my lashes because i'm putting them always putting them on and off for instagram um 
so I don't want to buy an expensive pair if you know what I mean but love these four look ones they're kind of like a good balance between natural and glam um so yeah I do want to try different styles of their lashes though because I really like them recommend okay moving on to clothes next now I really didn't get very interesting clothes because obviously we're not going out the house anytime soon so I'm not gonna buy clothes to go out in I'm just I was gonna yeah basically I've just bought loads of chill clothes anyway first item being this little crop top I just thought this was just really nice um to lounge about in did that come across on camera because I literally just whacked myself in the face with the label um yeah this was actually in the pajama section but I would wear this as a top I mean I don't know about you but it's like it's really thick it has kind of two layers so and it's also really soft and it has adjustable straps I mean and it was only <laughs> three pounds so yes but I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear at this wear out of this with like a big comfy cardigan or hoodie you know next I got some joggers can you go into Primark and not buy their five pound joggers because yeah um I'm building up my jogger collection quite quickly so yeah I'm not sure if I love the color of these um but these were the literally the only ones left in my kind of size they either had medium or extra large and i kind of more like a tight fitting joggers although i do have to say these are like next level fitting joggers i had to get them in a i took the tag off i think it's a 2xs because they're four to six but i think i should have got an extra small but they didn't have something like that size. So I had to get the 2XS. But yeah, I still love them. They're still super comfy and I'm still going to wear them. And they say, j'adore la weekend, which I do. I love the weekend. Okay. Next up, loads of people have been getting bodysuits from Primark. Recently, they have brought in a huge selection. So if you need a bodysuit, then when we're allowed out again and Primark opens get yourself one from Primark um this was only five pounds and I I loved the shape of this I love high neck stuff um on me I feel like it like flatters me the most I think that's how yeah but yeah it's basically just a black ribbed bodysuit really it'll be nice with blue jeans um joggers yeah just a good staple piece really hey next up is a little bit of a weird one for me i <laughs> rarely get these but i actually got some cycling shorts for the summer just not to wear just to wear under things but the only thing is they are quite long so in, so i might have missed that there was like a shorter length but it's fine you can just roll them up and they seem to be all right i got mine in a two extra small although the waistband is quite big like yeah and these were only two pound fifty so i just thought if they don't fit the best then they're only going under things so it's fine Whoop. and then i actually ventured into the men's section because i wanted a huge oversized t-shirt to go with my cycling shorts i know i'm trying to be whoa i'm trying to be that person but i just don't think i can put it off but we're gonna try you know anyway i loved this t-shirt from the men's section and it's just gray and it says original nyc and i just really liked it so i got it because it was only £2.50 as well and thing is with women's uh t-shirts i always find that they're like i don't like the neckline i love really like high necklines like this um so yeah, another reason why men's t-shirts are better. Oh, and I got this in an extra large because any size is small than that just looked way too small to be like a t-shirt dress. So, yeah. And then the last item that I got from Primark was, of course, a sweatshirt. I never go into Primark 
and don't buy a sweatshirt. A lot of my sweatshirts are from Primark. They don't last forever, but while they do last, they're brilliant. So yeah, five pounds, can't really go wrong. I'm loving this colour at the moment. I think it goes well with my, like my hair, my skin tone. It doesn't wash me out too much. So yeah, that's that. And that, that is the end. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Primark. I fingers crossed this video hasn't been too much of a shambles. But if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already because that would be amazing. And I will see you on Sunday at 10.30am for a brand new video. Bye!